We're going to talk about naming substituents on organic chains. Uh, <clears throat> so I've given you an example of our organic um, substituents. Um, so if we have on the longest chain, okay, and I call that the backbone, the longest chain of the um, carbons, if you have uh, one carbon attached to that longest chain, one carbon, remember, is meth, and the substituent, the ending for that is YL. So this is called a methyl group. <clears throat> now, on your really long carbon chain, if you have two more carbons attached to it, two carbons is eth, and it's a substituent, so that's called ethyl, an ethyl group. Now, this is how I wrote it, CH2CH3. I wanted to open this up, expand it so you could see it. Um, this carbon has the two hydrogens. This carbon has the three hydrogens. And right here is where you would attach to your long carbon chain. So I'll put that as R. It can be as many carbons as you need or you want. <clears throat> and then another example, a propyl group. Um, so pro means three carbons. It's going to be a substituent, and so it's ending as YL. Um, so there's one, two, three. Um, <clears throat> so this is a shorthand. Uh, remember ethyl, if I expanded that, it would just be the carbon with the three hydrogens, and it's attached so, to some really long, or it could even be a short, um, uh, carbon chain. So I have three examples here that I'd like to help you name. Um, I pretend that these substituents, so they're like little birds that come and make a nest on the house. And the house is the longest carbon chain. So the challenge is always to find the longest carbon chain. And remember this, the chain does not have to be straight. It is the longest connection of carbons. And so you have, sometimes you have to be kind of creative. You just count every possible way that the carbons um, can be counted. Uh, so here, I'm looking at uh, this carbon chain, and this one's pretty straightforward. <clears throat> My longest carbon chain is one, two, three, four, five. Now, the uh, other ways I could count that is this, one, two, three, four. Well, that's not the longest carbon chain. Or here, one, two, three, four. That's not the longest carbon chain. Um, so once I find the longest carbon chain, I write that as my foundation, okay? So I've got five, this backbone, this longest carbon chain, this would be like the house. That is five carbons. So five, you'll remember it's pent. They're all single bonds. So it's going to be pentane. Now I have to give an address to that methyl group. I have to tell the reader where it attached. Um, every year we have a little family of birds that come on our, um, it's our northeast corner of our house and they build a nest. <laughs> Long story there. Um, so I just told you where they build a nest. I have to tell you where that substituent attaches. So we number the carbons and you always give the address um, with the smallest possible number. So I can number this two ways. Let's go left to right. I'd have one, two, three, four, five. So that would be on the third carbon. Or let's go right to left. One, two, three, four, five. So no matter how I number this, that methyl group is attached to the third carbon. So we're going to give this the address. I write that first, three, and then I identify what is attached on this long chain. So what's attached to the house is a methyl group, three methyl, and then there's the actual backbone um, that's going to be pentane. So three methyl pentane tells me I have a long carbon chain of five carbons and on the third carbon, there is one carbon attached. That's the substituent. Okay, let's do our next example. I'll do this in another color. Might be a little bit easier for you to see. Um, okay, so again, the challenge is find the longest carbon chain. Remember that doesn't have to be straight. So I always count the straight one first. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, got that in my head. So here I have one, two, three, four, five. No, nope. one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, all right, so it doesn't matter if I do the straight chain or if I do that bent chain, there's six. Let's try this one. One, two, three, of course not. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, so I found four different ways that I could count this. Now, here's an honest statement. It doesn't matter um, which of those four I choose. It will all give me the same final answer. It'll give me the same final answer. Check this out. If I go one, two, three, four, five, six, there's a methyl group on the second carbon. If I go one, two, three, four, five, six, there's a methyl group on the second carbon. You'll still get the same answer. 
every, every once in a while, there you could get a different answer, but it's pretty rare. Okay, so you just find the longest carbon chain, even if there's two options, doesn't matter, pick which one you want. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and pick the straight one, just because in my brain, it's a little bit easier to see. Um, so six carbons, six carbons is hex, they're all single bonded, so this will be hexane. Now, we've got two substituents. Um, so there's my longest carbon chain. There's substituents right there, one and two. Um, so I need to number the carbons so that when I give the substitu substituent addresses, it's the lowest numbers possible. So let's look at this. Let's go left to right. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that means that we'd have a methyl on carbon two and an ethyl on carbon four. Let's go the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six. We would have a methyl on carbon three and, um, or excuse me, an ethyl on carbon three and a methyl on carbon five. Those are bigger numbers. Five and three are bigger than two and four. So we're going to number this left to right. Left to right. I'll hurry and take those out. Okay, now which one do I write first? Methyl or ethyl? Our uh, rule is you do it alphabetically. So E comes before M, ethyl will come before methyl. Um, I'm going to put the address first. It's going to be four ethyl, and you put a dash in between numbers and letters. Four ethyl, another dash because I have to give the address to methyl hexane. And there we have it. So my longest chain, six carbons, on the fourth carbon, I attach the two carbons, the ethyl group, and on the second carbon, I attach the three. All right, excuse me, I, on the two carbon, I attach the CH3, the methyl group. Um, it does not matter. So let's say that you're writing this. It doesn't matter if you put these above or below. Doesn't, doesn't matter if you put them above or below. Okay, let's do one more. Um, so again, I'm counting finding that longest carbon chain. So let's start with the straight one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Um, oh, do you know what? Look at this. I think I can see the longest one. And it's bent. It's kind of kinked. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is the longest carbon chain. So the substituents on this, there they are. That's what's attached to that longest carbon chain. So always take a second, count different ways to find the longest carbon chain. Okay, so my backbone, that longest carbon chain, A ox oxygens is, excuse me, carbons is oct, um, all single bonded. So this is going to be octane. There we go, and I write it off to the right hand side because I know I'm gonna have to fill in some stuff here. Okay, now I've got two methyl groups. Uh, so we've got to tell the reader where both of these methyl groups are attached. Let's number it to see what we get. So if I start left to right, it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. So a three and a six is a total of nine. Let's go the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, doesn't matter which way we number it. We are going to have one, two, a methyl on the three, four, five, and a methyl on the six carbon. I'll go ahead and do left to right since that's how we read in books. Um, okay, so two methyl groups. We've got to give both addresses. This is how you do it. You give both the numbers. This is going to be a three, and if you have two numbers together, use a comma to separate them. A three, six. Now I'm going to put the dash so I can write a name, put the letters. I've got two methyl groups, so we say dimethyl. Three, six, dimethyl octane. So again, look carefully at that. I gave both addresses for the methyl groups and I had to tell the reader, yeah, you're, what you're seeing is right. There are two methyl groups, so it's dimethyl octane. Let's say for fun that I had had another methyl group right here on the four. That would have become three, four, six trimethyl octane. Um, so there you have it, naming substituents. Number one, find the longest carbon chain. That is your backbone. Number two, identify the substituents. Number three, number them so that the substituents get the smallest numbers. And then you just write it in alphabetical order. Okay, good work. Have a great day. Thanks.